Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. My name is Ted, and this is Project Grixis version 5, Introduction. So, um, if you guys have watched the previous videos, particularly um, last week's uh, wrap-up video, you know that this week was a little tough for me in terms of um, getting any uh, thing done for the project. Um, but, fortunately, the days that the funeral week were um, scheduled plus the fact that there's no downtime on Wednesday, I think I'll be able to get a full complement of videos in. So, with that in mind, here is the uh, introduction for version 5. I'll try to make this as short as possible. So, um, let me go start with the uh, cards that I purchased. Um, so, I had to do this on a different schedule than normal, so I had to move everything up. So this is Monday's uh, purchases. Um, I was able to pick up uh, the fourth Serum Visions for only uh, 2.21 tickets, which was great. It was the only one they had, so but I was still very happy to get that for just uh, for that price. <clears throat> and because of the uh, leftover money from the previous two weeks. I was able to get a Snapcaster for 19.23 tickets. Um, that's okay price, I guess. Um, since the day I purchased this, I think they dipped just to around like 18.50 or so. Um, but as I said, the price fluctuates so much that um, I think it's okay. They might go lower, and that'll be great. You know, we only picked up one, and we still need to pick up some more. And I also picked up a couple Ghost Quarters. Um, in the past, I've had trouble with um, Tron in general and um, Manlands, uh, particularly um, Celestial Colonnades and Infect in general. But um, mostly, I think it's a more of a function of just the damage they do. Um, things like uh, the Nexi and. Um, you know, in Affinity and and um, and Infect, um, they're winning anyway. They're just so fast that the deck can't handle it right now the way it's constructed. So, with that in mind, let me go then to um, our sheet. And I know this is small, but I'll insert a um, a larger picture. It'll be a slide, so I'll lose the uh, cursor. But I just want to point out right now. Um, this is these are the this column here and this is what we're mostly interested in. This is version three, version four. This is version five. Uh, two and one are gone now. I also removed the uh, the current value of the deck. Um, it was like I said in the last video, it was becoming uh, um, unmanageable to uh, maintain. So here are our four additions. We subtracted four cards. Deprived, Stubborn Denial, Dragon's Claw, Is It Charm, and these are our other leftover cards and I highlighted uh, Terminate and Spell Snare because those are really the two cards that have s significant enough value that we could possibly uh, bought out to add to our um, our pool of money and then over here we have our our expenses for the week $21.52 our contribution was $15 and so we went over budget but this week by uh, six dollars and fifty two cents, but we're still we're still running uh, an overall surplus of just over three dollars, and the deck so far has um, is, has costed us uh, eight dollars, I'm sorry, eighty seven dollars and nine cents. And if you add basically if you add eighty seven oh nine and thirteen nineteen, you basically get the thirty twenty eight plus the sixty dollars that over the four weeks that we've contributed. So. Um, not a whole lot more to um, to talk about on this. I know I'm sorry about losing the cursor, um, but like I said, the important thing to note is the terminate and spell snare. Um, their total value right now is about eight to nine dollars, eight to nine tickets, give or take. Um, so next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to add or you know to to make the deck better, but um, let's go to the deck itself on MTGO and this is version 5 and um, you know it's pretty much uh, 
very similar to the deck. We're still running uh, 20 lands total, but one of them is the Desolate Lighthouse, which is a utility land. So, um, you know, that's... Um, I'm, I know that typical uh, normal Delver decks don't run the Desolate Lighthouse, but I think it's helpful right now because of um, our lack of... Uh, we're only running four fetches. And the worst thing that we could draw late game is a fetch land. Um, so the Desolate Heist Lighthouse, a land in general, is not good later in the game. We only need about... With three lands on, on, on the board, we're pretty much running okay. And with five or six at the most, um, we have no problems casting anything. You know, we usually um, sort of peter out in terms of cards in hand. We're casting cards as soon as we get them. So... Um, any lands um, that we might draw um, can be uh, looted, and it's it's it helps. Um, I don't think it'll make a, a, a final version of the deck, but um, for right now, it's serving a purpose. Um, and why do I say the, the the fetch lands are worse later? Because if we get them and we don't need any more land, if what are we going to do with it? We we just take a point of damage to fetch uh, another land. It thins the deck, but. Um, so does the lighthouse. So, um, a regular land, you know, we could just play it or play it tapped and, and you know, not take any damage. So, but even those we want to loot away. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. There's an extra serum visions, uh, removed a stubborn denial, uh, removed a deprive for the snapcaster who's lurking in here. Here he is, snapcaster. And in the sideboard, um, all I did was remove the Izzet Charm and the Dragon's Claw and put in the two Ghost Quarters. Um, I don't know how good these are going to be. Like I said, they're mostly in there for Tron. But um, we might find some, and, and, and like I said, in Manlands. So that's the deck tech for this week. Um, I think it ran a little long, to be honest with you. But um, try to do better next time. And if you like the video or like the series, please hit the like button, uh, and I'll try and bring you some games, uh, squeeze them in before um, before uh, the end of the week. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at Magic Gath Strat, Facebook slash Magic Gathering Strat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There, you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.